I want to thank the Lord for another blessed and beautiful day. I want to give a great shout out to the YouTube family. Hope and pray everybody is doing well and may God bless you. Uh, coming back doing this video for the beginner musicians, the beginner singers, everybody that's coming up in ministry. And uh, I want to tell you this. You do your best for God. You do your best for God and don't let nobody steal your joy. Don't let nobody tell you how to praise. And uh, I'm doing this in response to my boy TJ, who's a uh, beginner musician coming up. The sad thing is, bro, I feel your pain because a lot of people don't want to help. It's done got to be about a contest. Now everybody showing out and some just, they ain't gonna never really understand what ministry is all about because we done made ministry about a competition in so many ways. But I want to tell you this, man. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. And if you are praising and singing, playing to your best, you have done your best, that's all that matters. And I know it's hard for some musicians to go to church because they're up under somebody. And they wanted it, they, the one they're up under is the one giving them all the hell, but not everybody's doing this. But see, I, I know how it was to be a beginner musician myself when I had to come up the hard way and get up under people. Sad thing is, man, ain't nobody trying to hardly, ain't hardly nobody trying to show you anything. They they rather criticize you than show you anything. So when you do your best, you let your best be for God. You know why? Because it's personal. It's personal. And I, I, I tell anybody, I'm not here to tell nobody how much praise they got inside of them, how much Holy Spirit they have inside them. Who am I to judge the next man or the next woman on how they praise God? And when you are a musician, I know it's tough. We done been through it, ain't we, many man? Anybody that's a minister of music has went through this. That's why I try to encourage the ones that's coming up. And sad thing is, you should want somebody to be up under you. Same with a pastor. Sad that some of these preachers will never get to preach because the, the head pastor won't allow them to. And then wonder why they leave and go to another church. Well, I remember in the Bible that Paul instructed Timothy very well. Paul guided Timothy up under his wings and, and instructed Timothy well. And Timothy was young. And Timothy done well. Timothy, Timothy did so good, so let me say so awesome, that he took ministry so hard till he almost died behind it. That's how much he cared for the ministry. And that's how all of us should be. Timothy became very sick. But Timothy stayed on that battlefield. And when you got people you around this telling you, oh, you ain't singing that good and you ain't praising or I didn't feel what you've done. They want to be entertained. You know, I kind of talked about this similar, something similar about this a while back when Sunday Best came out. And once again, I don't have nothing against nobody. God bless everybody. But I use Sunday Best, that show Sunday Best for an example. How it's a performance instead of a praise. Because you know what? Somebody had to win. Somebody had to be the what best. And the sad thing is, can't none of us outgive God. We can't be God's giving. That he gave his only begotten son. That was the best right there. That's why I tell people every day I wake up is my best. Every Sunday I go to church is my best. I don't have to have nobody to judge me on how, on how I praise and worship God. And I don't have nothing against nobody. Once again, you know, you look at the show, you look at the show, fine. I looked at the show. A lot of stuff I agree with, a lot of stuff I didn't because a lot of people, they all, a lot of people that they sent home was just awesome. I don't even want to talk about that old, the older guy, man. The older guy, oh, man. That man had me in tears when I was looking at that in my front room. And then the woman that won, I can't recall the name at the moment, but, and you know what, they was, they was about to judge that woman just because she had on socks and flip-flops. But when she opened up her mouth and started singing, see, sometimes we are quick to point fingers and judge people by the outer appearance. That lady came through a storm, and she came with all she had left to wear. And you remember uh, Mary, Mary, one of, them, one, one of them was saying that she wasn't even really, she really wasn't looking at it in so many ways because of what she had on. And it's still like that in these churches. Now, I tell you right now, somebody can walk through half of these churches' door, and they'll look at them crazy. And that might be a, a dynamic singer, a dynamic musician, a dynamic pastor walking in the door, and they'll never know. All oh, that girl sung her heart out. And she sung her heart out. So my point is, this thing became about 
that's all Sunday the best is is a competition. Somebody competing to get a contract or whatever. And I saw so many people crying. And they had beautiful voices, but it didn't meet the judges aspect. You see what I'm saying? That could have been all that to God, but to man and woman, it probably wasn't all that. See, now we done got to the point where we are dictating somebody else's praise. We're dictating who got more Holy Spirit in them than the other person. See, I don't get involved in that. That's why I want to use that for an example. And once again, I don't have nothing against nobody. Big shout out to Kurt Franklin, Donnie McClurk, and then Yolanda Adams, Mary Mary, and who was that, Kim Burrell, all of them. I'm just using this for an example. If you want to get mad at me in this video, get mad at me. I don't care. I'm using this as an example because it is true. We can walk in any of these churches half of the time and see how musicians are battling with each other. You see people trying to out sing each other. That ain't about that ain't about God. I'm sorry. God never wanted us to get in competition about him. That's why I understand why they did that show. But I, I still didn't agree with a lot of the stuff because I look at how people got hurt being sent home. And sometimes, whether people believe this or not, you can hurt somebody so much that they'll leave the ministry alone. And they'll never think about picking up their piano picking up their keyboard ever again or even touching the mic trying to sing ever again because they have been discouraged behind what man and woman say. So you let you let your praise be for God. And don't worry about what who saying around you, brother. I'm just trying to encourage you and lift you up in this video. I tell you, man, all the time, church number came about a show. And it is so much competition. That's why you got all this argument about who the best drummer, who the best organist. You know, who's the best singer? This one can out-sing that one. So I don't get off in the competition conversation. When somebody asks me who better than who, I say they all great. They all awesome. That's your opinion, who you like. That is your opinion because who you like ain't going to be what somebody else like. It's just like when you're looking at a boxing fight. Let's take my boy uh, Floyd Mayweather, for instance. Say we put 50, 50 guys in the room looking at the fight. And it was a good fight all the way to the end. And nobody got knocked out. And it went all the rounds. Well, these people on this side going to have their opinion. These people on this side going to have their opinion. Somebody going to say, well, I think Mayweather lost. And then somebody else going to say, well, I think he won. Well, Mayweather won the whole fight. Well, I don't agree. I think the other guy won the fight. That's how it is in, in the gospel now. Who the best musician? And it's sad. That's why I told this guy a long time ago, don't. Don't compare me with Jamal Hartwell. That's my boy. I love him to death. AG Praise, that's my boy. Don't compare me with them because we ain't in no competition with each other. We all are bringing something to the table. Jamal got his style. JT got his style. And big shout out to you, Jamal, if you're looking at this video because you've been looking at quite a few of the videos and commenting. God bless you, Jamal. That's who I learned a lot of stuff off of. If we can learn to work with each other instead of working against each other, we can get this ministry off the ground and it'll be beautiful. You got preachers versus preachers. Like I say, singers versus singers. Half of these praise teams can't get right because there's too many on the praise team want to be battling with each other. So you let your praise be for God, brother. And this is coming straight from the heart from your big brother, JT. And I know you're getting started. You've been in it about two years now. But I'm going to tell you like this, man. It's going to get worse. I hate to say this, but it's going to get worse. Because you can't hardly find no humble musicians, humble ministers, humble singers hardly nowadays. We are more in battle with each other. For what reason? I would never know. Because how are you praising God when you battling with each other? That's why I did that video. You say you like that video. Yes. I did the video called Are You Performing or Are You Praising? Big difference. See, a lot of these people are entertainers in the gospel field. They go to church to entertain folks. Uh, Norton ain't on some of them. People be walking around and talking about... Uh, do not touch my anointing and do my prophet no harm. All these prophets, and, and whether you're a musician or not, everybody ain't anointed. I wish people would understand that. Everybody ain't anointed. The Bible teaches you that. Oh, how they worship me with their lips, but their heart was far from me. How do you worship God and be in the spirit and be in truth when your heart ain't even in it? Ah, so I'm going to leave on that. God bless you. Take care.